What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason with JCS Reefing and in today's video we're going to take a look at the TMC Vectron Titan UV Sterilizer. The one I have here is the 850 version. There is a 550 version that's slightly smaller. Uh, the one that I have here is rated up to 250 gallons. Um, it uses 27 watts um, and I do use a UV on the tank behind me which is the Innovative Marine 200 gallon EXT. Um, the UV that I use is the Aqua Ultra 25 watt. Um, but what kind of piqued my interest with this UV was that it is claiming to be 1.3 times more efficient. It does use photocatalytic uh, conversion, which basically it, it supposedly puts a aspect of ozone into your tank to make your water just that much clearer. Now, once I get it out of the box, um, you can see off of the build quality, I do like the form factor of it. Real small, everything is compact right into this little casing. You do have one cord that plugs right in. You can put it on a timer, you can let it run 24 seven. That's up to you. Um, it does have your inlet here at the bottom, half inch all the way up to, I believe, one inch and a quarter. Same thing with your outlet. Um, the hooks that I made here, um, those are just 3D printed because I'm going to actually just be mounting this on the side of my sump um, underneath for now um, to kind of just, you know, test it out. Um, what else? Uh, so yeah, it is, like I said, rated up to 250 gallons. Uh, I believe your max flow rate is uh, 561 imperial gallons up to 674 US gallons which is really, that's a lot of flow that's going through. Um, a smaller form factor UV, like I said, I mean, this is quite small for something that does, or, you know, 250 gallons. Um, it does come with the unions, it comes with all your attachments. I chose to go with the elbow here. Like I said, I'm gonna be mounting this on my sump. Inlet's gonna come in through here, go through the UV, pass through it, come out and go back into the sump. Without further ado, let's get it on the tank. Now, before adding this to the tank, I wanted to make sure that there was no leaks or anything like that in the unions. So all I did was fill up my kitchen sink, used the pump, pumped a bunch of water through it, made sure that there was no leak coming around any of the seals. And once I was satisfied with that, it was time to move on to adding it to my tank. So in my application, I'm going to be running this through my sump with a designated CJ pump. And it is roughly rated to about what the uh, recommended rating gallons per an hour is for the UV. So optimal, obviously installation would probably be running it and pulling water from your display back into your display. But for my application, keeping it hidden away, I wanted to run it through my sump. So I pulled water out of my sump and then returned it back into the return section of my sump. Before adding the UV, you can see that there's a cloudiness to my water. Um, it just wasn't crystal clear, that aspect that I was looking for. And of course, as any reefer or anybody you know, in the hobby, you always get to clean your glass. You always have this film algae that kind of seems to grow um, on the glass. So for my sake, I was gonna clean everything 100% and see how long I could go once I added the UV without having to clean the glass. Now after cleaning everything, adding the UV, after a couple weeks of having the UV on the tank, you can clearly see that there's no cloudiness, there's no film algae, there's no, it's just, it's crystal clear. The water is just very, very clear. Everything kind of looks like it's floating in midair. So that was a huge takeaway that I had from it. And if you're saying there's no flow in the tank, there's 100% flow, this is just how my tank runs. So I ran the UV exactly how my tank would be. One of the biggest takeaways I had was looking at the front glass from the side view. It literally looked like a mirror. So that was a huge 
kind of takeaway that I had from it was that I could look through the side glass, I could see all the way to the other side, and also the front glass just looked like a mirror. So this thing gives super clear water, what else is there to say? So kind of wrapping up this video and final thoughts, um, I don't test products very often and it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, so I was lucky enough to be able to test this product and I've had this running on the tank for over a month now. So before I even started this video, before I even did anything, I got it on the tank, figured out how I wanted to temporarily plumb it, which is how you saw I plumbed it. So that's not something that I would necessarily say is going to be your best way of doing it, but it definitely works. Um, so in the future, I might hard plumb it. And if that's something you'd like to see, please be sure to comment. Um, but my takeaway from the product itself is the form factor is amazing. Uh, the fact that you can do a 250 gallon tank in such a small casing um, with no big giant power supply uh, or capacitor or anything like that that goes along with it that you also have to mount along with the UV was kind of a big plus to me. Um, the UV itself looked a smaller type of UV, so we'll see how that kind of go go, goes ahead with everything. But the technology is there 100%. I think uh, it's definitely working as you could see. Um, and you can see behind me, the water clarity is phenomenal. Um, I'm not going to compare anything with anything that I've used in the past, but I will say the product 100% works, no doubt. Um, and one thing I will say that I don't need to clean the glass as often with this UV um, and the water quality itself, not, not chemistry wise um, necessarily, but visually just looks uh, more aesthetically pleasing to myself. So I think that's a huge, huge takeaway from the product uh, product line that they have. Um, and for future videos, I'm going to leave this thing running. I might hard plumb it, get it a little bit more to my liking. Um, but for testing out this product and, and, and seeing what it can do and getting my hands on it, uh, since it's not, there's not many videos out there on the product, was an amazing experience. So I'm going to leave this thing hooked up and we're going to start getting out some more videos. So like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing. Cheers.